All right, so a quick video for all of you. By the way, if you didn't know it, this is Laura, and I want to show you how to turn things on and off. Here they have these little toggle switches that uh, are kind of interesting in the back end here of Facebook, and this is just in the campaigns. So you can turn a campaign on or off. This one is off. We could turn it on. You can also turn it on or off in the ad sets. So you can make it active or unactive based on your ad sets. And I was explaining to you ad sets before. You see you have a campaign and your campaigns have ad sets. Okay, so I'm going to go in here. It's going to take us to our different ad sets. And you see I have different campaigns running here which each have different conversions and different prices per conversion in fact. All right, so you can turn it on or off here. Now let's take a look at this boomerang. That'll take us now down to the ad level. So if we had more than one ad, we could see which ones were doing well and which ones were doing badly and turn it off on and off based on that. Same thing goes here. Now the other thing to note, and I just want to show this to you too, because it's not really particularly explained well otherwise, is, is that the pricing and whatnot in your regular ads interface and whatnot is done over here. You can edit your targeting, you can edit your pricing over here in the ad level or you're actually, so you can look at it over here. And we see we're bidding for website conversions. When we're in Power Editor, which gives us a lot more latitude, we can surely do things a little bit differently. Anyway, I just wanted you to know from the regular ads interface, how you actually create all of this particularly cool stuff and turn it on and turn it off so that you don't get in trouble. Anyway, that's it. I'll see you on the next video.